Okay, the air conditioner fit in my window. It's not perfect, but I'm just doing a trial. I didn't have quite enough cord, so I put a little power strip in. And we're gonna try this baby out because 42 amps coming in, and the battery is super close to uh, shutting down. So what I wanna do, I'm gonna shut some stuff off, like the TV, because I don't know exactly how much power the air conditioner is going to pull. I know they pull a lot. So I'm going to kill some of these lights. Okay. I may kill this light up here for why not. And we're going to turn this on. So for cooling, I got to go to this snowflake. The fan, obviously. Has come on. Oh, my drain over there has stopped. Let's try air conditioning on low. See if the compressor kicks in. I haven't heard it yet. But we'll see what the solar is reading. 14 volts. Shit. Dial this up to four. Maybe. Might be dehumidifier. Let's go to one and go to air, AC. That's got to be AC. Let's see if it comes on. Five. Not entirely sure what the settings are for this thing, to be honest with you. There's a compressor. It kicked in. I heard it. No fucking way. Off the grid air conditioning. Holy shit, folks. Compressor is on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. 2.5 amps. I'm turning the air, uh, can air conditioner to max, and we have off-grid air conditioning. Holy shit. Now I got to stuff insulation under there, that's what this is for, but that is sweet. Um, holy shit, it's not even doing a dent into the batteries. It says I'm at 2.8 amps. 120 volts. Now what I want to do quickly, feel the inverter lines. They're not even warm. These aren't warm. Holy shit, I can run off the grid air conditioning. 43 amps coming in. The battery's not even taking a dent. The fridge is on. This is charging. I'm doing a load of wash. I got all kinds of stuff going on. Oh my god we did it we did it guys <laughs> finally off the grid air conditioning un fucking believable that's a dream fuck you Troy <laughs> all right I'm gonna do another load here be back in a bit so I'm doing my mats right now guys so I gotta shut the water off now and just let it finish out and I'll spin them again one more time. So I just shut the water off. Now with the spin, spin dryer going, I shut all the windows because we now have off the grid air conditioning on maximum and it's not putting a freaking dent. Now I'm gonna show you, this is the max dial. This is air conditioning. This is cold and I love it. Um, so we're pulling 4.8 amps at 120 volts. Right here, there's now 6.58 amps coming in to the batteries. They're sitting at 1314. Must have had some cloud cover outside. The terminals are not warm whatsoever. The inverter cables are not warm whatsoever. 
and holy shit, I'm loving it. Oh, the battery's up to 10.5. Um, and the fridge is still on. Oh my god. Free air conditioning, guys. Can you believe it? Woohoo! Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, Rob is happy after going through hell over the years. And this is the perfect spot for it. I don't mind a fan blowing on me when I'm sleeping. However, this won't be running at night. But during the day, it sure as hell can run all day, as long as the clouds aren't too nasty. But then again, I am doing a lot of loads with the AC running, which is amazing. Um, very, very impressed. So, to recap, for anybody who wants to reproduce this, 5,000 BTU air conditioner, um, two, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries, both 12 volt. They're wired in parallel to give me 200 amp hours. Here is the MPPT charge controller I'm using. It's the 80 amp version. Okay. Um, yeah, it must have some cloud cover because we're down to six amps coming in. But it doesn't matter because the battery's still happy. And uh, I shut some more shit off anyway. Dyson's done charging. This battery slowly trickle charging back, maybe from the grave. I don't know. The, I got the fans running on the ceiling still, and I closed all the windows up. And this is amazing, guys. I am so impressed right now. Now, the spin dryer is just finishing. I got to click it on again to get rid of the excess moisture and then I just hung those towels up there to dry as you can see and some rags and then I got to do a load of uh, my mop heads and those rags there they'll be going in the wash but first we're gonna turn the spin dryer back on because I always do it twice to help get rid of the nasty in there and really dry that stuff out because it's just centrifugal force drying out the clothing. Kind of like the new conventional high efficiency washers do. The clothes normally almost come out dry already because of the spinning cycle. So now look at the moisture inside the window. That's because we had a torrential downpour if you've been watching my videos and I tiny house got flooded. I caught over 100 gallons of water on the rain catchment system in an overnight period. And that was scary. Um, now, it's not perfect. Like I said, I got to seal the gap with insulation and the top, probably. And it's kind of not level, obviously. But we're getting there. Ooh. Oh, seven amps now coming in. It's coming back. I'm loving it. Holy shit. Holy shit, folks. I cannot believe it. Huge victory for the off-grid tiny house. Um, yeah, so... <clears throat> you, the solar panels that I have running that system are the Bifacial LG 350-watt panels. Two of them. Uh, in series connected to that MPPT charge controller 80 amp Epi Ever MPPT uh, good company because they make these cheaper ones too so 80 amper the lithium's inverter is just a cheap uh, pure, sine, pure sine wave inverter um, that had no issues and I'm also trying to recover this battery and hopefully it does that and my, uh, let's see how my 36.5 uh, 36 Fahrenheit in the fridge right now. Cooling off my water. Gotta have the water. Water. 
So, oh, we're back up. The amps are rising very quickly now. The cloud must have broke. 40 amps incoming. That means the battery is going to be full shortly. It, it's already full, but it's air conditioner on max. Holy shit. I gotta phone my dad. He'll wanna see this. See you in a bit.